Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're recording our first MIDI song in Reaper. And this is part three of that series. Next, we're gonna put down a bass part or a bass synth. Let's make a new track the same way. Track menu. Insert virtual instrument on new track. And this time I'm going to go down to this plugin right here called Resynth, which is a simple synthesizer that comes with Reaper. So we'll choose it, and it looks like this. Fairly simple. By default, it sounds like this. But we can make it more buzzy by choosing the sawtooth mix right here. If we bring this up, Let's bring our fader down so it's not too loud. And it sounds like this. With more buzz. But if we bring it down a bunch of octaves, it sounds like a bass synth. So we could use that in our track. So let's put down a really simple part that follows the kick drum. So it'll sound like this. So let's record it. That should work. Double click it. We'll zoom in. And we can quantize it to 16th notes right here. It quantizes to the grid. All notes, position, and note end. So quantize the beginning and the end of the notes. Let's hear how that sounds. That's pretty close, but I want to adjust the length of some of them to be more precise. I want the first note to play until the first snare, and then cut off. Same with this one. So drag it out with snapping turned on. And the same with this one. And the same with this one. So it's not staccato. And because it's going to loop, we don't need this one. Just delete it. And once again, we'll trim it. The beginning and end. We'll glue it. And drag it out to the whole song. Let's readjust the volume of it using our fader. Feels pretty good. Let's give it a color. Let's go with a blue, like this. Let's give it a name, like bass synth. Once again, save it. Next, we'll create a chorus synth to add a melody to our choruses. Let's take this track out of record, make a new track right here. Once again, we're going to choose the resynth that comes with Reaper, which sounds like this. Let's give it more of a square wave sound by bringing this up over here. About to there. So it sounds like this. Now it sounds a bit dry. So let's add a delay or an echo to the sound. We'll double click here to add a plugin after this one. Then we'll go to the Reaper plugins right here and choose Redelay. And this plugin will add a delay or an echo to our sound. So we have a synth 
than the delay. If I play it now, we're going to get a repeat at four eighth notes. Let's make it shorter. Let's make it one eighth note. So it sounds like this. Let's bring down the wet sound or the effect sound so the delay is a bit lower than the direct sound or the synth. Like this. Let's bring up the feedback so we get more repeats. Now let's add a reverb after it to create more of a room sound. Again, we'll double click over here to add a plugin. And we'll go down here to Reverbate, which is Reaper's digital reverb. We'll bring the dry sound all the way up by double clicking. The wet sound down a bit. We'll make the room size a bit bigger. We'll remove the dampening so it sounds brighter. And now let's hear that. It sounds like this, dry, with delay, and with reverb. Let's bring it down in the mix. Let's play a melody that's like this. Let's record it. Double click it, zoom in. Let's quantize it to 16th notes. I'm going to quantize it all notes. Just the position. I want to keep the length of the notes I played exactly the same. Let's hear that. I'll make it a bit shorter right over here. On this third note. Hold on shift to turn off snapping. Let's hear that. Same with this one. Make it a bit shorter. That feels better. Now for this one, it's just going to happen in the chorus. Let's just trim it back to about here. Let's rename the track Chorus Synth. And we're not going to bother to glue it because we're not going to loop it through the whole song. We're just going to place it on our choruses. And in the next video, we're going to create an arrangement that has separate choruses. And we'll just copy and paste this to those sections. So we'll give it a color. Let's go with something like this, a little brighter. And again, we'll save it. Now let's move on to the next video. Mom.